Oh, drum roll, please. That's the worst drum roll ever, isn't it? Right, so you may know that I have announced that I had nine weeks left on the channel before. After talks with my wife and my family, I would be walking away from Anfield Agenda because I've never taken away from the channel for a couple of reasons, partly because we don't make that much money, but whatever. Push that to a side. Mother's Day was yesterday, and being the selfless human being that my wife is, she turns around to me and said, I cannot let you give up on this channel. I know that you will succeed and I believe in you. So I'm here. I'm gone nowhere. I'm here to stay. Money or no money, it doesn't matter. Craig goes here to stay. And I can promise you that, ladies and gentlemen. Sponsor, no sponsor. Wage, no wage. Whatever happens, I'm going nowhere. I am going absolutely nowhere and I'm coming for it all. I'm coming for all the subscribers. I'm coming for everybody. So get on board. Come on, you Reds! That has made my week, and I cannot tell you how much I love my goddamn wife. Isn't she just a uh, dancing dude for a successful year to come? Right, here he comes. A bit of Nulon for everybody in the house. Are we ready? Who wants a bit of Nulon? Here we go. Three, two, one. Go on. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Blame it on the good times. Blame it on the boogie. Go on, Newlon. He's happy. He's around for another. Sadio, go on. Round the keeper. No, you've gone too wide, mate. No, Sadio. Cut back in. The finish is blocked. How? Sadio, no. No. Beautiful ball slips him through. He's one on one. I don't know what to say. Did the keeper get a touch on him and he didn't go to the ground again? Yep. Yeah. Grabbed his fucking boot. Grabs his left boot and Sadio doesn't go to the ground. That's the third game in a row. Sadio Mane could have had a nailed on penalty and didn't go to ground and we get nothing from it. Third one in a row. Dispute it if you'd like, but that is the third game in a row. He's been too honest and stayed on his feet. Ball in. Mane. Oh, again, another one. That's two. <sighs> this time it's a diving header and he hits it wide of the... I did it. Mane, to, to Jada now, Jada, goal, 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 the O goals, Jada has scored right before half time, goal, Lazzo, 1-0 to the Reds, whoop, 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 go on, keeper probably could have done better but I don't care, balls up in the air, a header's won by Nat Phillips, Mane brings it down, rolls it into Salah, back to Mane, Mane cushions it to Jota, he has a strike, it goes underneath the keeper, keeper should have done better, but do we care less? No, can we get a Ric Flair? Of course we can, woo! 1-0 to the Reds, right before half time, go on! Oh yes, half time now, there you go, perfect way to end the first half, 80k subs, never man, never. I said the same thing and I'll continue to say it. I don't know why anybody watches, but I appreciate the shit out of everyone that does. But uh, no, man, we thought if we got to 5 or 10k, we would have considered that a huge success when we started out nearly three years ago. So now we're all... Salah gets no protection, ever. He was wrestled to the ground again. He gets nothing from referees. I know people are going to say, is he diving? I don't care. He should have been given a free kick there. Instagram. OnlyFans. Everything. I'm not coming for OnlyFans, by the way. I'm joking about that one. I clearly already have an account. If you know, you know. Hmm? I don't. Of course I don't. Hello now. Oh, it's only Mo Salah. He's only got to make it 2-0, but the whistle's blown for offside, I think. He was offside. Well, Stretcher's been brought on here for Patricio, and, and I hope, I sincerely hope he's okay. Never ever want to see a player injured. So, of course, everything to take as long as is needed here. Patricio's safety is the most important thing at this moment in time. So, you know, let's all hope he's okay. And the camera pants. There's no need for the camera to pant around him and S. That's shithousery from Sky. Fuck off and leave him alone. That's I don't agree with that. Obviously, we're all hoping and, and hoping the keeper's okay, but there was no need to pan up to him and Ez in the stands. You know, fuck football at a time like this. The man, this is more, far more important. Again, it's right that they take all the time that they need. The players are right. They're all staying away as well, up, up around the centre circle, giving the medical team every bit of space that they need. All And, of course, the referee's giving them all the time they need, and, and rightly so. 
seven minutes of time added on again that's irrelevant at the moment we're only concerned about the keeper that's a horrible comment nobody like some he's not dead people who cares he's injured the man is a family you're gone idiot the man is a family that i'm sure are looking on worried just think about that like that's the important thing right now that that man recovers he's okay and gets home eventually to his family who are going to be watching on anxiously don't need little idiots like you mate undermining the significance of the situation right now or the seriousness of it oh thankfully silver heads hits off somebody else and falls into the arms of allison again we got a bit fortunate there Traore gets his cross in Oh, I think it is actually just Silva that just heads it. Let's have a guess. He spreads it to Sadio. Back to him. Back to him. Switch. Look at the space they're in. Greedy. That is just greedy. The referee's blowing it up, ladies and gentlemen. Liverpool have beaten Wolves by a goal to nil. That goal scored by Diogo Jota in injury time in the first half. I'll be back with a post-match show in a few minutes' time. Obviously, all our thoughts and best wishes are with Rui Patricio. Some Becker, I'm going to give him a 7. There was a couple of things that he made me a bit nervy on. He did, of course, make a decent save or two as well. A couple of things I, shot he, he, I thought he, he could have caught. But, you know, we kept a clean sheet. So, again, I very, find it very difficult to be in any way critical. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, I thought, had a very good game down that right-hand side. I'm going to give Trent a solid 7 as well. Across to the left side, Andy Robertson did well. I don't think he impacted the game as much as perhaps maybe Trent so I'm going to give him a 6 centre back pairing today I'm going to give both of them a 7 I thought they were both immense Ozan Kabak had a very good game today and Phillips again aerially dominant as you would want them to be both lads putting their bodies on the line as well I do know that Robbo by the way had a particularly difficult evening's work with Adama Traore bursting down that side so I do take that into account when giving that player rating into midfield now Fabinho I thought was excellent again today Fabinho breaking up play doing bits when he needed to I'm going to give Fabinho an eight Thiago I think it wasn't one of his best games for the Reds ladies and gentlemen I was I was I won't say hoping for the substitution of Thiago but I was fully expecting that that would be the substitution that was going to be made so six for me for Thiago in today's game and I think I think that might be a generous six, if I'm being honest with you. Moving across to Giorgini, Giorgini Wijnaldum. Um, Genie does bits all the time. Solid seven for Genie. Runs, does as much as he can. Closes down, never stops fighting. Didn't really impact the game as much as he could have. Maybe I'm being critical there, but you always get a solid, solid performance. Sadio Mane, I'm going to give a five. I thought that was, at times, unforgivable from Sadio. Some of the stuff today. He should have gone down for a penalty in the first half. He missed opportunities to square the ball to, to Jota and Salah. His shots at times were weak and I thought his decision making was really, really poor. Now, I'm one of his biggest fans, but I'm not going to just blow smoke up somebody's backside. I thought Sadio was nowhere near good enough tonight. And if we had had options on the bench, I fully expect he would have been dragged off and those options would have been used. Firmino wasn't there. Origi wasn't there. I wasn't impressed with Sadio at all tonight. Diogo Jota, again, scored the winning goal, popped up at a vital time. But I still don't think he was the best player on the pitch for us, if I'm being honest. He, he had a bit of sloppiness with his passing. You could see as the game went on, the fatigue was kicking in for Diogo Jota. It's important to remember he's coming back from injury, but that fatigue was there and it was the right decision to have him taken off. Uh, moving across then to Mohamed Salah. Again, very difficult. He's been marked by two or three men. Always involved in the game. Involved in some good link-up play as well. Um, put the ball in the net, but it was correctly ruled out for offside. Had another chance that just went wide of the post. Again, a good, solid, all-round display from Mohamed Salah. So, I'm going to give himself and Jada. Do you know what? I'm going to revise something here. I'll give Jada a 7. I'll give Mohamed Salah an 8. And I'm also going to upgrade Ozan Kabak to an 8. Because the more I think about it, he had a very good shift today. So it's up to you then who you decide is man of the match, folks. I'm not going to give that decision. That's over to you guys. My contenders would be Ozan, Kabak, Fabinho and probably Salah as three options. But, I mean, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys to decide who you think is the man of the match. 